Ukraine's bid to re-establish control of rest of eastern territories stumbled when pro-Russian separatists seized several armored vehicles. The developments further inflame tensions as Ukraine teeters on the edge of open conflict while Russian forces remain massed along the border. To the west, NATO is taking note and ordering precautionary steps. Secretary General Anders Foe Rasmussen. Air policing aircraft will fly more sorties over the Baltic region. Allied ships will deploy to the Baltic Sea, the Eastern Mediterranean, and elsewhere as required. Military staff from allied nations will deploy to enhance our preparedness, training, and exercises. Consultations in Geneva aim to explore possibilities for a diplomatic way out of the crisis. Much of the burden lies with Russia, according to State Department spokeswoman Marie Harf. Russia needs to take steps to de-escalate uh, in order to prevent additional sanctions from being levied on them. Now, we hope, obviously, coming out of this kind of diplomatic meeting, we can see some of those steps. Observers doubt the meeting will yield an immediate solution to the crisis. Analyst Ricardo Alcaro. We do not have to expect any particular breakthrough. I think uh, it is important for the U.S. and the European Union to have put uh, in the in the in, in, in the same room into the same room both the Russians and the uh, Ukraine Ukrainian Ukrainian transition government. This is this is per se an achievement. Um, of course, the negotiating positions, as I, as I just mentioned, they're very, very far away from, the, from one another. So far, the Obama administration has ruled out direct military assistance for Ukraine. That is a mistake, said Republican Senator John McCain while visiting Lithuania. We should be providing uh, defensive weapons, uh, light weapons, uh, body armor, uh, night vision, jet fuel. There are many things that Ukrainians need right now as uh, Vladimir Putin continues to violate their territorial integrity. And uh, what we have done so far is, uh, is, is almost disgraceful how little we have done. Not so, according to Harf. There's no military solution here. We don't want to see more escalation. What we want is de-escalation. The Obama administration says it is ready to impose additional sanctions against Russia. Existing sanctions are already taking a toll, according to Russian economy minister Alexei Ulyukayev. Investments in economic growth are almost zero. Unless further escalation is prevented and sanctions are relieved, our gross domestic product growth will be about 0.5 percent. It's a very worrying situation. Economic pressure has yet to soften Russia's stance. Moscow continues to blame Ukraine's central government for the unrest and is demanding Kyiv adopt a hands-off policy towards the country's eastern territories. Michael Bowman, VOA News, Washington.